Hello friends, this video on organisms and their surroundings part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us discuss each of these properties in more detail, each of these characteristics rather. So the first thing that we discussed was living organisms need food. So what comes to your mind when you think of food? Food is anything that an organism eats or drinks for its survival. Now when we think of us, what comes to your mind when we think of our food? It could be anything, it could be a burger, it could be a cake, it could be an omelette, it could be fruits, it could be vegetables. So there are a hell lot variety of fruit, food that we eat. Now like us, different organisms have different food habits. Some of them eat plants, some of them eat other animals, some of them eat uh, fruits, some of them eat vegetables. So, you know, different organisms have different choices. So, but food is something that is needed for the survival of or, or all, that is needed for all organisms' survival. You think of a cat, its favorite food could be milk. You think of a rabbit, the favorite food could be a carrot. You think of birds, they might be eating seeds or small insects. Think of a cow, it could be eating uh, plants, maybe the leaves of the plants. So different animals have their own choices as far as food is concerned. Then the question is, why do we need food? Why do we even food, eat food? What would happen if we stop eating? Now food provides nutrients. That is the reason why we eat food, why we need food basically. Now why do we need nutrients? Because nutrients are those substances that provide nourishment to our body which is needed for the growth and maintenance of life. So we eat good food that is why we have appropriate growth. Now especially for kids when they are very small maybe three to four years old uh, we often say that they should be given nutritious diet. They should be given good amount of milk, fruits and all of the proteins. Why? So that their body can grow in an appropriate way. Now, if the nutrients are not received by the body, then what will happen? The growth will not be appropriate. The body will not remain healthy. The body will not be able to do its work. Now, to do anything, anybody has to do a, a small work for that. That person needs some energy and that energy comes from the food. So, food provides us the nutrients. Now, whether you, now, when you talk about different food items, maybe you talk about milk, it provides calcium and calcium makes your bones, your teeth stronger. When you think of uh, maybe a slice of cheese or uh, a fish, they all give you proteins and proteins again help you to build your body stronger. You think of the fruits and the vegetables, they give you a lot of vitamins, they give you iron, they give you, um, many of them give you roughage and all of these are important part of nutrients. Now all these nutrients present in the required amounts help us to remain healthy. Now when we talk about nutrients, now what what are these nutrients actually? What are these substances which uh, provide nourishment to our body? Now we eat uh, many different varieties of food. So let me give you certain examples of food which are rich in some specific nutrients. Now that doesn't mean that a particular food item contains only one nutrient. There might be other nutrients also present in it but it major, majorly it contains one specific unit. So for example milk. Milk is very rich in calcium and calcium is needed to keep our bones and teeth stronger. Think of fishes, it is rich in proteins and proteins again is needed for proper growth and development of our body. Think of bread, bread, chapati, rice, all of these are rich source of carbohydrates and carbohydrates are the direct source of energy. So our body gets energy from the food rich in carbohydrates. Think of fruits and vegetables, they are rich in minerals and minerals are again needed for proper functioning of the body. Think of uh, things like butter, ghee, cheese, these are rich in fats and fats are instant sources of energy but at the same time consuming too much of fats can actually lead to overweight and obesity which later can cause several diseases like the problems of having heart diseases or diabetes, all those things increase with overweight. So it is not really advisable to consume too much of fats. Think of green vegetables like spinach, they are very rich source of vitamins. Now you see these are all different types of nutrients. Now it is also very important that when you take food, it is important that you take 
all the nutrients in the right amount. It shouldn't happen that you only eat carbohydrates. So in that case, your body might be uh, might have sufficient carbohydrates, but the body is still lacking minerals, vitamins, calcium and proteins. So your teeth might not be stronger because you do not have any calcium intake in your body. So it is important to have different types of food in your diet. So and this food, it gives us energy. And what do we do with that energy? That energy helps us to do all the work that we do in our day to day life. For example, you do exercise, yoga, you when you do some physical activity, you go for a jogging, you even when you think, whether you are studying or you are writing your exam, you are thinking, so your brain is working, your brain needs some energy. Uh, even while sleeping, we feel that we are not doing anything. Of course, the energy requirement of our body is less, but still a lot different, uh, many parts of our body are still working when we are sleeping. For example, the heart is still beating, the lungs are still doing their job. So they still need some energy to do their job. So when we say that we need energy to run, so even our heart says that I also need energy to beat all the time. So there are parts of our body which are still working even when we are sleeping. So our body still needs some amount of energy, maybe lesser amount of energy than when we are actively doing some physical activity. So whether we do any kind of task, whether it is a mental task or it is a physical task or even if when we are sleeping, so our body needs some energy and that energy comes from food. Now if our body doesn't have the required amount of energy, then what will happen? We tend to feel tired. Now, think of a scenario where let's say that you you wake up in the morning, you had your breakfast and after that you sat for studying. Okay. Now, you studied till evening, till night and you didn't eat anything, you didn't drink anything. What happens by the end of the day? You tend to feel very tired, you feel that I am exhausted and then you are not able to concentrate also properly. That's because your body is tired, your body doesn't have the required energy. And what do you do to boost yourself up? You need to eat something, you need to drink something so that your body can gain some energy and then again that energy can be utilized to do further work. So without energy, your body will not be able to perform any activity, be it physical or mental. So therefore, it is very important to eat food. And in fact, here I have given examples uh, with respect to human beings because we can relate to it more. But you talk about any organism, they all need energy because they, uh, they also do a lot of activities. And without food, they will not get energy. They will not be able to do anything. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.